Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'd like to show you how to clean up some text that you paste into Microsoft Word from somewhere else. If you're like me, you have, not infrequently, pasted into Word text that you've copied from somewhere else that you just need to get it into a Word document. We find something on the internet and we want to paste it into Word, or we start taking notes in a text document such as Notepad or Notepad++, and it grows and it grows, and we figure out that we really need to put it into Word so that we can have the power of the organizational capabilities of Microsoft Word. However, when you paste it into Word, it turns out to be really quite a mess. Many people out there would try to fix this mess by just going into Word and editing it one little mistake at a time. And that's definitely something you can do, and most people would do that, but you don't need to. Word has some power in there that will let you automate this correction, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. In the example document you're going to see, I was going through the PDF tutorial learning how to use DaVinci Resolve video editing software, and I needed to take some notes on that, and I put them into a Notepad++ document, and they grew, and they grew, and they grew, and pretty soon I knew I needed to put them into Word. So here's what I did. In this example, I have a Word document that I want to submit, but you can see it's not formatted properly. I got all the text that I had been keeping in a Notepad++ document, and I basically clicked in there, and I did Control a to select it all, Control c to copy, and I came over here to the Word document, and I pasted it, and this is what I got. Now, the reason it is not formatted properly, let's look up here on the Hidden Characters button. I click that, and you can see it has paragraph markers at the end of each line. There should be paragraph markers at the end of each paragraph, but not at the end of each line. What I want to do is replace the paragraph marker at the end of the line with a space. But I can't replace all the paragraph markers with spaces because that would make my paragraphs that I have designated disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Microsoft Word search and replace function, control H, and I'm going to to put in the character for a paragraph return. You can find that here on special and the paragraph mark. You can see it is up here at P. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all instances where there are two of those in a row, up here at P, up here at P, and replace them with, let's put in something that won't be found anywhere else. Let's put in five X's in a row, one, two, three, four, five, and do a replace all. Boom, it replaced it 53 times. And yes, let's do the document from the beginning. Made 65 total replacements. Now we can see we only have paragraph markers left at the end of the lines. And where there were full paragraph breaks before, we now have five X's. Now what I want to do is take the paragraph marker single instances and replace that. I've done backspace twice to make sure there's nothing in there, and I will put in one space, boom, space bar, and do replace all, and this time it found 182 times from wherever the cursor was, and go back to the beginning of the document, it made 190 replacements, boom. Now we have the entire document is nothing but one long paragraph, as you can see, all right? So what we want to do now is go back in here and replace our five X's, one, two, three, four, five, with two paragraph markers, up caret P, up caret P, and replace all 53 replacements, continue from the beginning, made 65. We now have, let's close this, we now have all of our text has been made into complete paragraphs. The paragraphs are separated by two paragraph markers, and we are ready to continue editing the document. I hope this helps you in cleaning up your own pasted into Word documents and makes it a lot easier to do than if you were to do it manually. 
If you thought this video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up and let me and the YouTube robots know that you thought it was indeed helpful. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so very much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not, why not go ahead right now, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.